free college of football picks for week three. This is part one. This will be part one of five. We're going to cover all 15 games. So you got to start early. So we got nine for you here with part one of our college football uh, week three video picks. Uh, before we get underway, just a couple of things. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Free college football picks are updated all season long. Free picks every day from all the major sports. We also have, well, NFL. We have uh, Major League Baseball, WNBA, CFL, European Football, Hockey, and NBA just about a month away, so it is a good time to subscribe. And also, if you would support our channel, hit the thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Then visit TonySpicks.com, our multi-capper site showcasing the top cappers in our industry. Click the link to the hot cappers. Get signed up for a long-term pass. Guys who've been hot have been like Nick. Hollywood Sam has been on absolute fire. Paul's our top unit producer. Tony Speaks VIP, the GM, has been on fire. Collins, hot in, hot in, um, in uh, college football. Uh, ben has been hot in NFL. So click the links and get signed up to a long-term pass. You'll find pre and picks at the top of the page. Drop-down menu here for the free picks. As you scroll down, you will find our best bets here. Each capper can designate one of their premium picks per sport as a best bet. You can see many of them are up there right now. I have one up there, Ramon, Mindy, Tiffany, Nick. Uh, so get signed up. Also, each capper can designate one of their picks as a $15 premium pick just to showcase you to, the, to our service, just to introduce you to their service. And you can see here that a lot of the cappers make their best bet, their $15 premium pick, just to introduce you to their service. So go ahead, guys, and get signed up for that. As you can see, we have a lot of uh, premium plays up there for you. Also, want to make note here for our promo code, you can save 20% off all premium pick packages. When you use that promo code TONYT at checkout, you can access our page by clicking the link over in the description. Click the All Cappers tab to get signed up. Also love to hear from you guys, so post your picks in the comments below. And we are looking for cappers to apply. Go to TonySpicks.com footer section to submit your form. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get this one started. Georgia versus South Carolina College football pick for Saturday. Georgia 2-0. After the 33-0 home win to FCS Sanford, they did open the season against Oregon and pounded them 49-3 behind 571 yards of offense. Bulldogs moving the football for 525 yards, holding teams just 220. Quarterback Stetson Bennett has been accurate her, her early on, 75% completion rate, averaging 10.3 yards per pass attempt. Running back Kendall Milton, 7.5 yards a carry. Now, South Carolina, they fell to 1-1. One one. They lose 44-30. Add an improved Arkansas team. Uh, the game really got away from them in the fourth quarter, giving up the first 14 points, which they fell behind by 19. Struggled to fade. The Razorbacks' run game gave up 300 yards on 64 carries. But Spencer Rattler, the quarterback for South Carolina, he did his part, throwing for 376 yards, 24 of 39. But the run game, just 40 yards on 29 carries. Rattler was impressive in his road out at Arkansas. Now, Georgia did get past South Carolina by 27 at home last season. They did give up 214 passing yards to the game Cox, But in 2022, the game cost quarterback, it's a major upgrade in this position. For that reason, we'll take the points here. The play will be on South Carolina, plus 24 and a half. Texas State versus Baylor, college football pick. This one's Saturday. Texas State 1-1 one one after a 41-12 home win to a rebuilding FIU team. They did open the season beating a rebuilding Nevada team on the road, 38-14 behind just 277 yards. Lane Hatcher hit on 15 of 30 last week for 226 yards and three touchdowns. The running back Calvin Hill, 37 carries on the season, averaging 5.5 yards a rush. But the pass protection is an issue for the Bobcats. Give up an average of three sacks per game, give up a negative 30 yards on sack yardage to the, the opponents, and they're averaging three turnovers a game. So those, those are issues. The sack yardage really is making their run game look bad. Bobcats defensively allowing 293 yards a game on defense with three yards per rush attempt. Quarterback Lane Hatcher completing 60% of his throws for 6.3 yards per pass attempt, five touchdowns and three picks. Now, Blair, they're one and one. They come off a 26 20 hard luck road defeat at BYU. The offense really struggled in this game, just 291 yards. And uh, the run game, 154 yards on 50 carries, just three yards a carry. A poor showing for quarterback Blake Shapin, who went 18 of 28 for 137 yards and a touchdown. Bears were penalized 14 times for 117 yards. Now, the Baylor defense held the Cougars just 83 rushing yards on 33 carries, but 283 yards in through the air. The Bobcats, they're inexperienced on the defensive line. They're going to struggle scoring and defending Baylor here. Bears have covered six straight when they've allowed 14 or fewer points the past two seasons. I think this is one of, one of the games here where Texas State could be held to under 14. The play here will be on Baylor minus 30. Connecticut versus a Michigan college football pick for Saturday. Connecticut is 1-2. They come off the 48-14 home defeat 
to Syracuse. Now, Huskies have lost both games against FBS. Their win coming only to an FCS team. UConn posted only 202 yards in the loss. Defensively, the Huskies gave up 465 yards to, to the Orange. Uh, good news for the Huskies, they've contained the run game, allowing just 156 rushing on 51 carries. For right, Zion Turner, he's hitting on 57% of his passes, but only 5.3 yards per pass attempt and four touchdowns along with his three picks. Now, Michigan got past Hawaii 56-10. They rolled up 588 yards on a rebuilding Hawaii team. They blew out Colorado State at home in the opener 51-7. J.J. McCarthy in his first start, 11-12 passing, 229 yards and three touchdowns. Now Michigan built a 42-0 lead at the half against a really bad Hawaii team, but then only outscored them 14-10 in the second half. Wasn't too impressed with the reserves in, in, in uh, last week. And for that reason, Connecticut, you know, Connecticut has shown improvement, especially with their run defense. And for that reason, uh, with that second half showing by Michigan, we'll go with UConn here at plus 47.5. Purdue versus Syracuse college football pick. This one goes off on Saturday. Purdue one and one with their 56 home win to FCS Indiana State. Now they open the season losing home a tough one to Penn State 35-31. They did gain 426 yards, but they allowed that late touchdown drive at the end to Penn State in defeat. Quarterback Aiden O'Connell hitting 60% of his passes, five touchdowns, no picks, five. And uh, Syracuse well. The Orange uh, is 2-0. They come off a 48-14 road win at UConn. They move the football for 465 yards. They have the Huskies just 202 yards. The Syracuse opened at home to Louisville. They win that one 31-7. Now quarterback Garrett Schrader, after a bad showing in 2021, has really improved his game. He's completing 79% of his throws with five touchdowns and no picks, averaging about 11 yards per pass attempt. He is a run threat and has three rushing touchdowns and 119 yards. Really one of the quarterbacks that's really showing improvement this year. These are two offenses getting good quarterback work and putting up points. Now, Purdue's defense to concern in their loss at home to Penn State. The play here will be Purdue and Syracuse to go over a total of 58.5. Cincinnati versus Miami, Ohio. College football pick this one on Saturday. This game will be played on a neutral field here. Now, Cincinnati 1-1. One and one, They get a 63-10 home into FCS Kennesaw State. They open their season on the road to an improved Arkansas team, and they lose 31-24, to 24, but behind 438 yards. They are able to throw on their Razorbacks for 325 yards. Eastern Michigan uh, transfer Ben Bryant is completing 68% of his throws, five touchdowns, a pick, 8.3 yards for pass attempt. Mamio, they improved to 1-1. One one. They get a 31-14 home win to FCS. Robert Morris didn't cover that game. Red Hawks opened uh, the year losing at Kentucky 37-13. Now, the starting quarterback for Miami, Ohio, Blaine Gabbert, is out for a while. So backup Avion Smith, a freshman, really has a tough test. The Bearcats showed good ability at throwing at, uh, throwing the football uh, at Arkansas. And a, a freshman starting here from Miami, Ohio, a concern. The play here will be Cincinnati at minus 20 and a half. Oklahoma versus Nebraska. College football pick. This one's on Saturday. Oklahoma improved to 2-0. They get that 33-3 home win to Kent. They open with UTEP and win 45-13. Now, despite facing weak competitions, the Sooners have been been held to under 500 yards in each of their game offensively. But the good news is the defense is holding opponents to just an average of eight points a game. UCF transfer Dylan Gabriel is hitting on 70% of his passes with five touchdowns and no picks, 10.4 yards per pass attempt. The run game is generating 5.3 yards a carry against weak opponents. Sooners are stopping the run on defense, holding foes to 5.8 yards per pass attempt. Nebraska is 1-2 after the 45-42 home defeat to Georgia Southern. Head coach Scott Frost fired after the loss. They also have a neutral sight loss in Northwestern, giving up 402 yards. The Cornhusker defense did allow 632 yards to Georgia Southern, a max school, with 409 yards passing, 233 on the ground for nearly eight yards to carry. Nebraska defense to concern regardless of the coaching change. Brent Venable showing some good signs with the Sooners defense. The play here will be Oklahoma minus the 13. Western Kentucky and Indiana, a college football pick for Saturday. Western Kentucky 2-0 after their 49-17 win at a rebuilding Hawaii team. They opened the season winning but not covering as a 32.5 point favorite home to Austin P. The run game for the Hilltoppers generating just 4.1 yards per carry. This is against weak competition. Third down conversions, 28%. Very concerning, again, based on the teams they're playing. Quarterback Austin Reed hitting on 64% of his throws with seven touchdowns and two picks, averaging 8.5 yards per pass attempt. They have only outgained their opponents by 50 yards this season. Now, Indiana, they're 2-0, 35-22 uh, home win to FCS Idaho. They got past Illinois by three in their opener. 
Missouri transfer Connor Bazalek has not been accurate, just completing 54% of his passes with three touchdowns and two picks, only 6.5 yards for pass step, who's just running for four and a half yards a carry. But they've defended the run well. Strength of competition a week here for the Hilltoppers. And third down, the concern since the run game has not been good. The play here will be Indiana minus six and a half. Buffalo versus Coastal Carolina. College football pick Saturday. Buffalo falls 0-2 with a 37-31 defeat to FCS Holy Cross. Bulls defense allowed 457 yards to their FCS opponent with 219 yards on 45 carries. Buffalo run defense giving up 5.2 yards a carry this season and opponents averaging 9.5 yards per pass attempt. Bulls quarterback Cole Snyder completing 59% of his passes with 6.7 yards per run, per attempt, I should say, and he's also a run threat. Coastal Carolina moves to 2-0 with their 31-27 home win to FCS Gardner-Webb. Uh, they open with a 38-28 home win to Army. Now in their win to Gardner-Webb, the Chanticleers move the football for only 354 yards and they rush for 46. Now quarterback Grayson McCall he is completing 72% of his passes, 10.3 yards per pass attempt. He's thrown for six touchdowns and a pick. Bulls defense concerned against an experienced and accurate quarterback like McCall. The play here, Coastal Carolina minus 14 and a half. Rutgers versus Temple, college football pick for Saturday. Rutgers moves to 2-0 with their 66-7 home win to FCS Wagner. They open their season with a 22-21 road win at Boston College behind 322 yards. Scarlet Knights defense uh, playing well, holding opponents at 231 yards, 0.9 yards per rush, and 6.5 yards per pass attempt. Scarlet Knights have been rotating uh, quarterbacks. Starting quarterback Noah Vidral has an undisclosed injury and hasn't played. Scarlet Knights running about twice as much as they're passing now as it generates 5.4 yards per, per rush attempt. Temple moved to one on one. They get the 30 to 14 home win to FCS Lafayette. Remember, they were shut out at Duke in their opener behind only 179 yards. Alice Corbett, Dewan Mathis, completing only 48% of his throws, a really poor 4.3 yards per pass attempt. And Temple's only averaging 3.1 yards per rush. Temple is going to struggle offensively here with the Scarlet Knights, a, a, a run heavy team. I think it's going to cause a low score, a scoring gamer with these two, with this combination. The play here, Rutgers and Temple under 44 and a half points. Hey, that was our college football show here for Monday. That was just part one of, of five. Remember, we're going to get 50 games in this week. We've got the first nine for you. So make sure you, you subscribe to the channel and like us with a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. Stay tuned for more live shows coming up today. I'm Tony T. Back with more picks later.